For the most part, Nevada is a barren place. Besides the cities along the California border, most towns cling to I-80 as it goes through the basin and range topography of the Intermountain West. But within this barren landscape are beautiful mountain canyons and lush marshes. Outside Elko, Nevada are the Ruby Mountains. The area around these mountains are good for birding. Along its western flanks is the Ruby Lake National Wildlife Refuge. This is a typical Intermountain West marsh with species that can also all be seen at the Great Salt Lake but in a pretty condensed location. Fallow ropes, cranes, and stilts all feed in the shallow water. It is a nice little birding area to check out, especially if you have time to kill for the big bird of these parts, the Himalayan snowcock. In the 1960s, the Nevada Fish and Game Division approached the President of Pakistan to be permitted to bring some of these birds to the state as game birds to hunt. Over the next few years, the birds were raised at a game farm before many were released into the rubies. A population eventually established itself high up in the mountains. To see these birds, you will need to get up the Lamoil Canyon Trail before the sun comes up, hiking much of the trail in the dark using headlamps. You will likely hear snowcock before you see them. It sounds a bit like a bugling elk. Look along the ridge line for the birds flying. They are large meaty birds and soar along the high cliffs. Also up early in the morning, Cassin's Finches, Wilson's Warblers, Clark's Nutcrackers, White-Breasted Nuthatches, Rufus Hummingbirds, and Fox Sparrows are all about. It is also just a beautiful place to visit and great for photography. If you're in the region in the fall, I have to recommend another site to the east. Along the Utah-Nevada border are the Goshute Mountains. Each fall, birds of prey from all around the western United States funnel through here. Hawkwatch International runs a field station to count and ban birds that fly by. It is nice birding with help from the expert hawk spotters who can call out as each species fly by. Merlin, kestrels, ferruginous hawks, turkey vultures, and goshawks all glide past. They also set up nets to catch hawks flying by, and you can release some of them. Here's a sharp shinned hawk. And this is a broad winged hawk. Finally, this is a red-tailed hawk. One time while I was there, a golden eagle was caught, and I got some nice close-up pictures of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and good luck on seeing some snowcocks.